Hello guys, welcome back to being Mrs. Frazier, or welcome if you are new. If you are new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and go ahead and follow along on this new journey of ours. If you don't know, we recently moved from Nebraska down to Florida, so we have a lot to get done in today's video. We're going to be doing a lot of unpacking. I don't fully unpack the kitchen because here in a few weeks you will see that we will be needing to unpack the cupboards that I pack in today's video and, or unpack, pack, y'all understand, right? We're unpacking, but repacking, <laughs> uh, because we will be DIYing our own kitchen, uh, that includes demo and rehanging cupboards and all that fun stuff. So make sure you're subscribed because you don't want to miss out on that. But for today's video, we're unpacking, we're cleaning, we're building furniture and we are hanging up some decor items, last minute decor items, that is, in the living room. So make sure you stick around till the end. What are you doing? <laughs> I had no idea you were in there. No idea. What are you doing? Silly boy. One step forward and another back I will never try to fool ya I'm one heartbeat away from going mad Girl, when you're looking like that Close up, close up It is amazing looking back at this kitchen because since recording this, we have completely demoed out the kitchen and have set up the base cabinets and hung the upper cabinets and it looks completely different. It's amazing. It just, it looks so different. I cannot wait for you guys to see it. Um, that'll be coming out here in a couple weeks. I do want to get the cabinets installed before we reveal that to you guys, but uh, definitely follow me over on Instagram if you aren't already and kind of that over on Instagram, I kind of share more of our daily activities, but I also share some tidbits and sneak peeks from upcoming videos. Uh, it's more of a recent time as opposed to future time, I guess, or past, however you want to look at it. But definitely go follow me over on Instagram at bean underscore Mrs. Frazier. We do get a lot of comments on this kitchen and how much people like the cupboards and stuff like that. Um, in fact, our realtor was very surprised that we even wanted to tear it out. But these cupboards were not only absolutely disgusting, I don't know if they've ever been cleaned, to be honest. Um, the base cabinets were... I don't know if there was a flood or a leak or what happened, but they had taken on a lot of water um in fact when we pulled them out the base cabinets just kind of disintegrated it was yeah quite interesting um so that is the reason why we did take them out which again i will be sharing that here in a few weeks and i cannot wait but we couldn't wait to get the cabinets redone to start unpacking because up until this point in the video here we had been eating out and not only is that costly when you're a family of six it just doesn't make you your body feel very well uh when you eat out a whole bunch so we just wanted to get some of the essentials unpacked um you know bowls plates cups some cookware and stuff like that silverware just stuff so that way we could cook um or you know make food items of whatever sort that may be. You keep on coming back for more. I've been waiting here before. It is not the first time. Thinking that you'll come around. I've been waiting here before. It is not the first time. Thinking that you'll change this time. No, I don't need a heartbreak. I don't need a savior. Cause I gotta be you. Cause I gotta be you. I gotta be 
while we were packing if you see on this box here in front of me there's like yellow tape well we were packing I made sure to take colored masking tape I just ordered like a rainbow pack off of Amazon um, and just made sure that I put a strip across every box that belonged in the kitchen so you'll notice all the boxes that we're unpacking are either yellow or green um, green was like the living room dining room situation and then yellow was basically mainly kitchen items um, you'll also see orange which that was more office stuff um, those have not been unpacked yet I'm not really sure where we're putting them um, this house is actually a little bit smaller than our old house um, actually it's only like 300 square foot smaller but the setup is quite different. Our old house, if you guys are new, um, I know we have a lot of new followers here, but the old house was a split entry. So it had an upstairs and a basement. We are, like I said, now in Florida. Florida doesn't really have basements and this house is a ranch style. So I used to keep my office in the basement. I did get rid of a majority of my items. Um, and then you'll see later on in this video, I kind of set up just a little makeshift office makeshift office <laughs> if I can even talk oh my goodness um, in my in our uh, bedroom so you'll see that here in a little bit I do want to take this time to thank all of my subscribers. We are so close to a thousand, you guys. I can't believe it. I have been working at this for years. <laughs> no joke. It's been years. And to say it, uh, I don't even know what to say, to be honest. I just appreciate every single one of you. You all are amazing to subscribe, you know, and just following along with our journey. I appreciate every single one of you and I am so excited that I am almost to a thousand so if you aren't subscribed I think we are at this point about 20 away so make sure you join I am so excited and maybe just maybe by next week's video we'll be at that thousand mark Before I started unpacking everything in the kitchen, I did have my oldest daughter go through and just wipe everything down with some Clorox spray and a rag. And she used a white rag, which is fine because I'm actually trying to get rid of any like colored rags and just keep white rags because they're easier to bleach um, and they don't leave like bleach spots and all that over. But anyway, I had her take a, a white wash rag and clean out the cupboards and you guys they were so gross i wish i would have had camera footage of of the wash rag because it's it was literally brown the whole thing was brown i ended up just having her throw it away because it was that gross so before we are putting this all away don't worry we did clean out the cupboards i just didn't film it because it was my daughter doing it Another video I have planned once the kitchen is fully remodeled, I plan on going through and organizing um, the entire kitchen. So pantry, we don't really have a pantry. We have a closet that we kind of are using as a pantry, uh, but we are put in extra cupboards that will be a pantry. 
how many times can I say pantry? Oh my goodness. But anyway, guys, so make sure you're subscribed for that uh, and you stay tuned because there will be some organization tips and tricks coming up soon enough here in the next few weeks. But next up, we're going to go ahead and get this desk set up. I found this desk on Amazon. It's actually by Ashley Furniture or Signature by Ashley Furniture or something like that. Um, I don't remember how much it was, but I will try to remember to link it down below for you guys if you guys are interested in it. It was very easy to put together other than the instructions, which I thought the envelope was super cute. I'll show you here. <laughs> uh, but the instructions were not for this desk. So we, I kind of looked at them dumbfounded at first, but I figured it out. We got it all put together and I absolutely love how it looks. It matches my furniture almost perfectly, which is also by Ashley Furniture. Um, but yes, I just needed to get something small but durable that matched my furniture that I could put my computer on so that I can edit these lovely videos for you guys. You know it still hurts a little bit, but not that much. Cause if you want somebody else, who am I to judge? I've been thinking about you all the time. Also, if you're interested, definitely check out my previous video was it the previous video or the week before i think it was the week before a couple weeks ago uh when i remade our bedroom or not remade it but like unpacked and decorated and everything you definitely want to see that it was a super fun one so definitely go check that out if you have not checked it out already or if you have checked it out check it out again if you'd like uh anyway I am just getting this desk together. Like I said, I was having some issues with the instructions. I was a little confused because I'm like, this is not the right desk. Like, what is going on? Um, and you'll see that I call my husband in for help because I was so confused. It's kind of quiet in my room right now without you. And I couldn't really make you stay, so what to do? I'm just staring at my walls and talking to myself now and then I'll try to laugh but I'll cry a bit as well I was never any good at being away from you I met you in the summer Can you guys believe that summer is already almost over? At least for those of us with kids. Uh, our kids start school here in the middle of August down here in Florida. Actually, they start even earlier back home in Nebraska. Um, I was surprised. They're starting like a week early in Nebraska. But anyway, I'm curious. When do you guys as kids go back to school? Or if they have gone back to school yet? Or are they the lucky ones that don't get to go back until after Labor Day? Because I really feel... Like, kids should be in school, like, I don't know, Labor Day through Memorial Day, you know, and then have, like, a huge summer. I, I don't know. I'm a summer girl, though. I love summer, you know, and all the fun activities that come along with it. So, anyway, let me know down below in the comments. Uh, I'm just curious how other places are uh, with going back to school. I met you in the summer When you left it was cold Said we loved one another Guess that we were wrong I met you in the summer Our love was out of control I've been going crazy without you I'm so alone I met you in the My furniture tip for you guys, Ashley is a great company, like they make really heavy duty, awesome furniture pieces that have lasted us for a very long time. This bedroom set um, we've had for like 10 years or so and it is holding up great other than in the move it got a little bit scratched up, but that's okay. <laughs> uh, that's not the furniture's fault, otherwise it is great quality furniture. I will say though, um, shop around. Make sure you are finding the best price. We bought our dining room table, which you will see here in a few weeks, um, off of Amazon when it was in store at Nebraska Furniture Mart. It was like over $800. And I found it on Amazon for just over $300. So same product, same SKU, same company made by everything. It's the same identical table 
for $500 less. So definitely shop around. Same with this desk. I saw it on Wayfair and other places like that. Or was it Overstock? I think it was Overstock. But anyway, I saw it other places. It was more expensive. So definitely shop around. Try to find the best deal possible. So he can mind his own. I'm blessed like that. Cause I good in my skin. I don't need a man to tell me I'm the shit. Thank God that it's over. Just like everyone else, I don't know if you saw a little Lottie up there in the window. The cats are transitioning great down here in Florida. Uh, they very much so enjoy laying in the sun and the windows. And if you don't know, we have a lot of lizards around here. They're just tiny like little anoles. Um, ranging from like barely the tip of my thumb to, I don't know, six inches or so. But the cats absolutely love, especially Lottie, the little calico you saw, love, love, love <laughs> chasing the lizards in the windows. They don't go outside. They are not outside cats. They are indoor only. Uh, there's too many scary critters that can get them down here. So anyway, I just it's just super cute watching them try to get the lizards through the windows. My kind of a I love how the desk turned out. I don't know if you guys have seen my um, my office declutter from my old house. The desk was huge, so we definitely couldn't bring that. But I did bring my chair because I absolutely love this chair, and it is comfy, and it is the perfect size for this desk. I will say, though, with the printer and the monitor, it kind of takes up the whole desk. So I thought about getting like a little nightstand or something to put under the desk to fit the printer. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts on that if you guys, or a way to make a little bit more room. I don't know if, I don't know how that will work or if it does work. But anyway, let me know down in the comments your thoughts on that. But anyway, this is one of two suitcases. Uh, you'll see me grab the other one here in a minute of the rest of my clothes. Basically all the clothes that were not hung up these are all like my folded winter clothes, um, the rest of my t-shirts that I didn't already bring with me or already unpacked. So I just wanted to get the rest of this unpacked and put away just to help kind of declutter more areas because you guys, all the boxes everywhere are seriously really getting to me and I cannot handle it any longer. So not only did I have a lot of unpacking to do, but I also had a lot of laundry. Um, we basically, to move, we packed about five outfits each. Um, 
with basically five pairs of underwear, you know, pajamas, stuff like that. So I was, or maybe it was only like three, I don't know, three or five outfits, something like that. But regardless, I was doing more laundry than normal because I had to keep rewashing everything uh, <laughs> until we got everything unpacked so other outfits could be worn. And oh my gosh. I don't know if you guys know, but for some reason, in this area, at least of Florida, laundry is in the garage. Why? I don't know. I hate it. Like, it was one of my biggest things that I really wanted a laundry room when we moved. Um, unfortunately, that did not happen. So, washer and dryer are out in the garage. And if you know anything about Florida, it's hot down here. And it is hot in the garage. I absolutely hate going out there to do laundry because it is just so hot. Um, I also feel like it's just gross, like going out there to do your laundry. But anywho, there's nothing I can do about it now. I'm just complaining. Otherwise, I absolutely love my house. But anywho, you're going to see I'm putting on some like rubber skid proof things. <laughs> I don't even know what they're called, but they just basically are to help the couch from sliding around. Um, that is something new that I'm learning. Uh, we've never had tile before or hardwood floors other than like the kitchen and dining room bathroom areas. So I never knew how much a couch would slide on tile floor and this thing slides all the time. So I wanted to basically keep it a little distance away from the wall for cords. Um, I did end up purchasing a special cord that you'll see here in just a second. Right here it is. Um, so that way it is flat up against the wall and then it just has like a little power strip extender there to plug items in. But again, I still just wanted to keep the couch, you know, a few inches away from the wall. So that's why I was putting the little skid rubber footies on there to keep it from sliding around. Another thing I wanted to do was change out um, another set of the pillowcases. You'll see there the one that I just grabbed to put in these new pillowcases. I I still liked it, but it just seemed kind of old and dingy, so I wanted to replace them. I really like the extra pop of black that these pillows give. I don't know, your girl just likes black, and I didn't want to go black furniture like my old house, uh, so I need to pop some black around in other ways. Um, also our cowhide rug is brown and black and white, so it kind of just fits in. But you'll notice that I didn't take the previous pillowcases off, and that is partially because these are feather pillows, and the feathers poke out of them really easily. So I'm hoping that by keeping the extra pillowcase on, when I put the new pillowcase on over it, it'll help contain those feathers a little better. I don't know. They're, they're really pokey, but I like them better than like the cotton fiber filled pillows. So anyway, you know, first world problems. I know, I know, I know. But next up, this wall was so, um, it just, it just was so bare. I needed something on it. I actually bought these baskets to go in the dining room once we got that finished, but I just felt like they needed to go on this wall. So we're going to go ahead and get them laid out. They are from Thrift and Wix. Uh, you can find her on Etsy, Instagram, Facebook, all of the above. She is amazing, you guys. Amazing to work with. Great quality. Uh, I just absolutely love her stuff. So you'll see these again, not this particular baskets, but you'll definitely see her work again coming up soon so anyway we're gonna go ahead lay them out on the floor and then I'm gonna hang them up on the wall
these baskets were just what this wall needed and it made it possible that I could keep my clock because I wasn't really sure that if I hung like pictures or picture shelves and stuff like that up there that I'd be able to keep it. So this way I'm able to keep my clock that I love so much and that way we can tell the time. <laughs> um, but I also just felt like it finished off this wall and it is just absolutely what they needed. Um, they're super easy to hang up with some, I think they're called like bread nails. You know, they're like nails, but there's no head on them. Does that make sense? Y'all know what I'm talking about? I hope so. Um, but, um, oh, I cannot remember her name, but Thrift and Wix does supply the nails with her baskets, which I absolutely love. I'm walking down the street on clouds instead of the concrete. I'm dancing through. Everything's about to come my way Nothing can ruin my date No matter what anyone does or say I smile at fools No, I don't care cause I am on my way Up and I won't stop I won't slow down Do you guys have Bucky's near you? Um, if you don't notice <laughs> Or didn't notice my shirt, yeah, that's a new Bucky shirt I am literally obsessed with their shirts, you guys I just... I just, I cannot, I don't know. I am literally obsessed with them, and this one is, I think, my favorite. The fruit from this lucky day. Yeah, I am on my way. I won't slow down. Yeah, I am on my way. I won't slow down. I'm strolling down the street with all of my favorite Alrighty guys, so we're just about done here. I'm just gonna go ahead and wet dry back, I guess. Wet back the floors. Uh, this is the Bissell Cross Wave. I just picked it up and I am in love. It is amazing for a quick vacuum and mop <laughs> um anyway guys make sure you come back hit that red subscribe button come along follow this journey i cannot wait to share our kitchen renovation with you guys and everything else we have in store so definitely come back and anyway until next time i hope everyone has a great weekend and a great week ahead bye guys yeah, I am on my way. I won't slow down <laughs> Yeah, I am on